All right. Uh, this session we are going to look into the configuration part of OSPF NSC, not so stub area. So this is the topology that we are going to use for the configuration. And there are four routers, R1 and R2. These both are connected to uh, each other using a RIP routing protocol. And then R2, R3 and R4. R, all three routers are running OSPF. And R2 and R3 runs under area 0 and R3 and R4 runs under area 1. Okay, here R2 is a ASBR router since it has two routing protocols. It acts like a ASBR router while R3 that has two different areas but doesn't have any sort of routing protocols. It acts like a ABR area border router. So this is our topology and in this topology we are going to configure NSSA and that's it. Okay, so uh, let's look into the configuration part. So I have already configured a IP address and a routing protocols pre-configured for each router. So let's look into the uh, initial running configuration. So this is our routers and these are all the IP interfaces that has been configured as per the topology. And here in R1 router, we are running a RIP routing protocol and I have advertised all the routes. So if we look here, this is R1 and it's running RIP. But in case of R2, two routing protocols, RIP and OSPF has been running. Let's look to it. Okay. So it's OSPF and RIP. Two routing protocols has been running. And each one interface has been advertised to each routing protocol. And you can also make a note of it. And I have redistributed RIP subnets into OSPF. And OSPF subnets into a RIP. So redistribution has been completed in the ASBR router. So next is about R3 and we checked about, okay. So this is the IP address that has been configured 23.3 and 34.3 and only OSPF routing protocol has been running here. And you can see I have been configured two different networks in two different areas. 23.0 belongs to a area zero and 34.0 belongs to a area one. So if we look here, this belongs to area 0 and this belongs to area 1. So this is what uh, R3 router acts as a ABR. So it has two different areas connected to the router and hence it acts like ABR. Next is about uh, R4. R4 if you look means it has a single interface that I have configured and that has been advertised to the OSPF under the area 1. So this is our initial configuration. Okay. So first let's check about our routing table if you have noticed before uh, in r1 i have created one loopback interface okay so we need to check whether we can able to reach it from r1 sorry r4 it has been learning okay let's test a uh, ping reachability i can able to reach 1.1.1.1 from r4 there's no issue in it now the next step is to configure our uh, nssa so just a glance about the initial uh, theory part about NSC. Okay, this is the NSC. Before starting up with the NSC, let's look into the stub part, stub area. Okay, this is the stub, and this is what we are going to look into it now. Stub part. Okay. So, what does initially stub do? Stub, which helps you to block a LSA type file. Okay, what are LSA type file? Let's say type 5, we can simply say to be as a redistributed networks or referred to as under LZ type 5. So all redistribution, whether it may be a connector routes or from other different routing protocols or a static routes might be redistributed, whatever it be, it comes under LZ type 5. So stub that blocks the LZ type 5. Okay. So this is what a stub is about. Next. We can move into NSC. Okay, suppose if we need any sort of redistribution to be done in a stub area, it cannot be done since it blocks a type of LSC. In order to overcome that, I need to do a redistribution, but I need to also maintain a stub area. In that situation, the NSC plays a vital role. So, here, 
in NSSA you can do redistribution and at the same time it can be done with the help of a special um, LSA type called as a type 7 which is mainly focused for redistribution here okay I think so you got my point what I'm saying so what does it mean is NSSA which uh, which is uh, like a stub area and which helps you to do a redistribution so stub with redistribution is said to be as a NSSA L NSSA which comes under a special area called as a type 7 LSA okay so this is what uh, L NSSA stub area means okay let's look into the configuration so that you can get, have a clear idea about what is what it is about okay so this is our first look at the topology and then we need to configure so uh, which area we are going to configure we are going to make uh, area 1 as NSSA and this area is being configured between R3 and R4 all right so first we can make R3 to be as a stub router OSPF1 and area 1 stub first initially I am making it as stub the reason why I am making it as a stub is why can't we redistribute so in order to what is the error what is the issue in becoming uh, redistribution in the stub so in order to show about that first I configure stub and then from stub we are moving to not so stub okay so this is a stub area I am looking into that okay area I want to be a stub within a couple of seconds it will lose its neighborship as one area is to be as a stub and other is to be as a normal area now I am going to change this area also to be as a stub router by SPF1 and it has to be area 1 stub next wait for a couple of seconds it will be up okay so it needs to change its neighborship okay all right so it has been loading to full it is done from here and next what we have to do is we need to check whether redistribution has been possible or not so I'm going to do it in the R4 router for redistribution um, I'm going to create a loopback interface with uh, IP address of 4.4.4.4 slash 32 okay so this is the IP address that I'm going to configure I'm going to redistribute it redistribute connector subnets okay as soon as I do this command redistribute connected subnets you can see the error as ASBR without a valid area which indicates the redistribution is not possible you can also see it's been router is currently an ASBR but having one area which is a stub area as a stub which where the redistribution is not possible so this is what our indication is about but you can also see The redistributed connected service command over here and at the same time if you try to check here whether you can able to see the information or not you don't see the network 4.4.4.4 since it is not been advertised you can also check it here whether it is advertised or not first in order to advertise in OSPF it should have to be in the OSPF database so IP OSPF database if you look into the database table there is only type 3 LSA there is no type 5 LSA or type 7 LSA in order to forward a packet all the redistribution comes under type 5 so it will not be forwarded so that's the issue over here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the stub and change the stub into a not so stub okay so what we are going to do is first no area 1 stub the same thing I'm going to do it here no area 1 stub okay now it seems to be as a normal area now it should has to be reachable right we can check it here if you look now 
it's learning you can see by using a normal area you can be able to see this information and at the same time you should have to reach so there is no issue now in order to reach since it's a normal area but the condition now here is it has to be a stub and at the same time reachable should be there so now i'm going to configure this as a not so stub same thing has to be done here okay now the nsc is been done redistribute connected subnets it's been given so the command is been accepted so this is just a just and see uh syslog message there's no issue in there okay so now let's check whether we can able to get the information in the routing table we can see the information by using oen2 okay so let's try whether we can able to reach the information or not it's reachable within the area okay let's check from r1 R1 is also having this information by using rep and I try to ping the same information. The ping doesn't work. The reason why the ping doesn't work is if you check the routing table, you can see it has an information about OIA. It doesn't have any information about the uh, in order to reach this 12.0 network which is a connectivity between R1 and R2 so that's the reason so in order to overcome that we need to give a default route so for stub areas by default if we enable stub it will create a default route in order to reach a destination but while in case of not so stub it will not create so we need to create a default route for not so stub area how do we create so in order to create a default route for not so stub area we need to create the information in the abr router so since the abr router is the origin or an entry point so we need to create it over there so let's move on to r3 and we need to create area one nssa this is what a normal command we give with this command we want to give a default information originate so as soon as I give this, you can check the same routing table here which indicates OEN2 with a default route in order to reach any destination. So you can also check it here. Since the route is there already, so now I am trying to ping the information, I can able to reach this information. Here also, now by using this default route, it can able to reach any destination. So this is about NSSE. So to make a hint uh, very easier, some things to be noted for NSZ. It helps you to do a redistribution in a stub area. Don't have a default route. It will not have a default route by um, default. It will not have any sort of route, default routes. We need to inject a default route in the ABR router in order to reach a reachability, in order to reach any sort of prefixes or destination so this are the things that has to be keep in mind while configuring a not so stub area okay so this is about nssa and a general overview of configuration if you want to look into that i'll just show you what is the exact configuration final configuration after configuring ospf and not so stub area so it will be something like this this are all not the ABR router, it's just a router and I have redistributed. What are the information? You can redistribute, no issue in that. And here, yeah, it's at, it has to be a default information originate, which helps you to inject a default route into the area. So this is about not so stub area configuration and how to configure it. All right, so that's it about OSPF configuration for a not so stub. If you have any queries or questions or any doubts regarding this, just give a comment. That's it about this. Thanks for watching. Until next time.